Hello, welcome to how to pitch a story to a newspaper or magazine. In this video, we'll talk about the process newspapers and magazines go through when picking what stories to print. Part of this process is called pitching a story. We'll talk about what it means to pitch a story and what information the journalist must include in a pitch. Let's start with the process of selecting stories to print. Journalists usually work as a team, and the head of that team is the editor. The editor makes the final decision on what will appear in a newspaper or magazine. Journalists give a pitch, which is a short description of the story that a journalist wants to tell. When a pitch is given verbally, it's about 30 to 40 seconds long. The purpose of the pitch is to sell this idea to the editor, so it will be written and printed in the newspaper or magazine. So it's important to say first and foremost, why is this story newsworthy? Or why is it a story that should be in the news? This is the main idea of the pitch. Why is the story important? The second question a journalist must answer in a pitch is who cares about this issue? This relates to the idea of a target audience. A newspaper should have mass appeal, meaning citizens of all ages, backgrounds, levels of education, should be interested in at least some of the articles published in a newspaper. But for magazines, the readers have much more specific traits. For example, a magazine may target women who live in cities and have professional jobs. In the pitch, the journalist should be able to identify who, in particular, would be interested in this story. The third question is who or what are the sources? The journalist needs to prove that they have access to information on this topic. They should say who they're interviewing, when those interviews are scheduled, how those people connect to the story, and what other types of information they'll use to tell this story. This proves to the editor that the journalist can get the information needed to tell this story accurately, completely, and truthfully. The final question that should be answered in this pitch is how long does the journalist need to research and write the story? Many times newspapers are competing with one another to tell the story first, but first is not always better. For example, if a journalist is rushing to be first, they might make more mistakes. If this happens, the audience could lose trust in that journalist or even in the newspaper. So while being first is good, it's better to be right. Editors will want to know when they can expect the story to be completed. To summarize, journalists pitch story ideas to an editor, who then selects which stories to print. The pitch includes why the story is newsworthy, as well as possible audience, sources, and a timeline. In the next video, you'll learn what it means to pitch to radio news.